Are we missing out on something if our only writing is via email and text? In fact, we, we started the show with Angela writing a note. She finished it. It says, Dear Take Five. Yeah. I don't know if you read it. I yeah, love no, your show. Yeah, no, don't worry. We'll, we'll, fi we'll, you make we'll me fix feel it in good post. Inside. Oh. You that, know? That's great. <laughs> it, it takes a lot to write a handwritten letter. <laughs> and Sarah McNally has a whole store dedicated to helping our letters look as good as they can. <laughs> <laughs> you are the founder of Constellation and Company. It's a stationary store. But what I love about your whole purpose is it's about the written word and why it's so important. First, thanks for doing this. Of course, I'm glad to be here. So you say it can make a positive impact in our lives by choosing to put pen to paper. Why is that? Absolutely. I think writing letters is about connecting with people. And we talked about, you know, you talked earlier about text and how that can be uh, such a throwaway means of communication and a letter is something that you can hold in your hand and I've been fortunate to have pen pals my whole life and to come from a long line of letter writers I have my great-grandfather's postcard collection from the 1920s that I can go back and read no way and read about the trips that my grandmother took when she was a little girl so I have that legacy to draw from and I'm trying to build that legacy for my family too and as snail mail superstar I've been really fortunate to receive letters from people all over the globe that love to send letters and in some of my struggles with anxiety and depression I've had people reach out to me from all over the place with words of encouragement and solidarity that has made my life so much better and yeah. I think through writing letters we have the opportunity to love and care for all the people in our lives even if we don't have a lot of time just a few minutes is enough to make a big difference in somebody's life there's something so nostalgic about it I know when I, I actually started writing a couple letters and I'm like wait I have to pay for a stamp <laughs> Just send this. Why don't I just do it on an email where it's free? Um, but but receiving one, there's this sense of feeling that is so much better than an email. Um, you actually gone as far as is this true? You, you have a YouTube channel. I do. Where you just, like what do you do on this channel? I do. Well, I talk about letter writing. I you know review fountain pens and different you know wax seals and fun things that I get to share. Um, but I also read the letters that I receive and share the wisdom that people are giving to me with other people. Is it, what people forget is that letters used to be something that we published, that we shared, that were kept for um, for posterity. And the wisdom that people do share, the parts of their lives they share and their stories are really important to share with other people. And, and I get to share some of those with the people who watch my channel. Right. What about kids? Because I know that a lot of schools, they're not really teaching handwriting or cursive or anything. So for parents who are watching, is it important to teach that skill and, and why would that be long lasting? I think so. And if I've learned anything from having a four-year-old, they don't listen to what you say they watch what you do so oh, if true. our kids can watch us connecting with other people writing letters being intentional they're gonna want to do that too my son recently ran up you know with a piece of paper and a crayon because he wanted to do what mommy was doing and oh, we sat cute. down and wrote letters together that's and true. that's just it's a fun thing that you can do with your kids it's especially meditative. this time yeah, of year yeah. write letters to Santa write letters to grandparents yeah. it's, it's a really now I'm looking are these your letters they are some I'm not letters gonna read them or anything, but I just want to <laughs> say totally. I just want to like yeah. Do you see her penmanship? That's, well, that's, that's not mine. That's what I received. Oh, it is. But yes. Okay. That's Do amazing. I need to be self-conscious about my ability to no. write and how my letters aren't as pretty? Good as question. These? Yeah, I don't think so. You don't. I think having a great pen it helps. Having a pen that's that true. works with your handwriting is important. But I think that you're putting yourself out there, your imperfect self, your ideas, your handwriting, and that's really authentic. You're taking the time, and that will make all the difference. Even if they couldn't read a word, yeah. the person receiving that yeah. will feel that, will feel right. that love. Wow, well, you have Good a stuff. lot of pe Good things stuff. that people can check Good out, stuff. and I love your enthusiasm for it. YouTube channel, and there's a writing meetup that's coming up. We have all the that's information awesome. for you. If you just text that's the keyword great. write to 206-448-4545, I think we all need to do this because it will help us just sitting down and just, you know, know what you can do? I, I started this for a while. I got off the bandwagon, but every time I go to the grocery store, I go down the card aisle. I'm like, I'm going to get oh, a card. I don't know sweet. who it's for, but I'm going to grab it, and then later I'll figure it out. As and a then stationary I'll... designer, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Sarah, thank you so much. <laughs> Good idea.